In step four of exercise number three, the following actions have to be implemented to define the rough machining of the pocket recess. Add a new iMachining operation. In the Inventor Cam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose 2D iMachining from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed. Use the default iRough for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the pocket recess. For this operation, the geometry is defined as a closed pocket with a single closed chain on the pocket contour. In the Graphics window, pick on the top edge of the pocket contour as shown. Select Auto Constant Z in the Auto Select section of the Geometry Edit dialog box to close the chain. When the confirmation message OK to Accept is displayed, click the Yes button to accept the selection. The chain icon appears in the list. The geometry is defined. Click Finish to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page. Click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select the already created 12mm diameter end mill with a cutting length of 24mm. Then, click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels for the operation. Click the Upper Level button to define the Z level at which the machining will start for the operation. In the Graphics window, select the top face of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button to define the machining depth for the operation. In the Graphics window, select the bottom face of the closed pocket as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to see how the cutting conditions were automatically calculated based on the tool information and milling levels defined for the operation. Looking at the output grid in the step down section, you can see that the wizard calculated one step down at 5 millimeters because the total depth is now less than the cutting length of the tool. Note the ACP value is now set to 0.7 and the field is painted red. The ACP value coincides with the color of the step-down row. To show where the 0.7 ACP comes from, I'm going to switch to a fully modeled end mill representing the current tool at a step-down of 5 millimeters. By looking at a sectional view, you can see the number of contact points the tool has with the vertical wall it is producing. There is no contact point above the bottom of the end mill. The 5 mm depth is only 0.7 of the first contact point. Moving back to the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box, the red color in the output grid is an indication that the current situation for stability is bad, and the likelihood that vibrations will develop is high. For this particular iMachining operation, Reducing the machining level can help avoid potential vibrations. Decrease the machining level slider to 1. On the technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. Any offsets would typically be removed by a rest machining and or finishing operation. I rest and I finish are covered in greater detail in exercise number 4. On the link page, the default ramping angle value of 1.5 is used for the operation. This means that the helical entry into the pocket will be performed at a ramping angle of 1.5 degrees. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iRough Pocket Recess. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to present the wireframe toolpath. The tool performs the helical entry 
and then the pocket roughing toolpath. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Then, click the exit button to close the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, step 4 is complete and the wizard automatically calculated the ACP value based on a 5mm total depth. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the rough machining of the pocket recess.